Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez is lashing out at federal prosecutors in the United States who've brought weapons and drug trafficking charges against his brother. On Wednesday, a U.S. prosecutor told a federal court in Brooklyn the brother, Tony Hernandez, personally accepted a million-dollar bribe meant for President Hernandez from the notorious Mexican drug lord known as El Chapo. Tony Hernandez is accused of trafficking tons of cocaine through Honduras bound for the U.S. and of providing heavily armed security for drug shipments. President Hernandez is a staunch ally of President Trump. At a news conference Thursday, he denied reports he's profited from narco-trafficking and pledged continued support to the Trump administration. Y no vamos a renunciar a seguir trabajando para continuar convirtiendo a Honduras en un territorio hostil contra los narcotraficantes. Maras y pandillas, tal como se ha reconocido en Estados Unidos desde el propio presidente, vicepresidente, Departamento de Estado, la DEA, el Departamento de Seguridad Interior, en todos estos años que hemos servido nosotros como presidente. Honduras has become one of the most violent countries in the world because of the devastating drug war and a political crisis that stems in part from a U.S.-backed 2009 coup that ousted the democratically elected President Manuel Zelaya.